Welcome to 321 exams. Today I shall be your math teacher and we shall be looking at the topic matrices and determinants. Now the question is what are the objectives of this topic? At the end of this chapter or this topic you should be able to perform various operation on matrices. Now here come the question, what is a matrix? By definition, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers in rows and columns. It is represented this way. We have A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, a32, A33. Permit me to use this as an example. Now, what we mean by rectangular array of number is the fact that we have rows and columns. And for that reason, from this illustration, this is row one. Here we have row two, and here we have row three. So the horizontal component or elements that are arranged horizontally are said to be in row, while those arranged vertically are said to be in column. So this is column two and this is column three, right? So the arrangement of elements in row and column gives you a matrix. And an example is your classroom arrangement. You realize that in your classroom arrangement, we have the rows and we have the column, and that forms a matrix. Remember, the plural is matrices. From jam scope, we are going to be considering the algebra of matrix. But before we take a look at the algebra, which involves the addition, the subtraction, and the multiplication, and the multiplication is divided into two, which is the scalar and the matrix multiplication. I would like us to take a look at some important terms used in matrix. The first term is what is called the identity or unit matrix. Now, this identity matrix is a scalar matrix in which all the diagonal elements are equal to one, right? And we have two categories. We have two by two matrix, which is one zero zero one. And we have three by three matrix, which is one zero 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 one zero 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 one, right? An identity matrix of dimension n is denoted by i um, subscript n, where n is its element, or the element, or it has an element in its diagonal, each equal to 1, and other elements are 0, right? What we are just saying is that when we have elements in a matrix such that it is only the elements on the principal diagonal that are equals to one and every other element is zero. Such a matrix is called the identity matrix. Now, this is what I'm saying. Zero, one, zero, 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 one. Sorry. This is zero, one, zero. Right? And this is zero, zero, one. Look at this is what is called your principal diagonal. So it means that all the elements on the principal diagonal are one, except in extreme cases, right? And every other element are zero. So whenever you have a matrix of search, it is called the identity matrix, right? Now, the question we should ask ourselves first is what is the dimension of matrix. Remember, I talked about the dimension once upon a time or earlier in this um, explanation of matrices. Now, the dimension of the matrix is given by M by N, where M is the number of rows and N is the number of columns. Now, taking this matrix, for instance, we have row 1, row 2, row 3, that's three rows. And we have column one, column two, column three, which is three columns. So this matrix is of the dimension three by three matrix. And it is also called a square matrix because the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. 
Now, I believe somebody can answer this question here. This has two rows and this has three columns. So the dimension of this matrix is a two by three. Now, if you're asked to look for A11, that is the element that is occupying the first row and the first column, you realize that from this, the element occupying the first row and first column is one, first row, second column is two, first row, third column is three, second row, first column is zero, second row, second column is two, um, four rather, and second row, third column is five. So if I ask a question A23, from this matrix here, A23 is equal to five. Exactly. And this matrix is a two by three matrix because it has two rows and three columns, right? Now let's also go and um, explain what another term called singular matrix is because these are the two terms we shall be considering basically in the course of solving problems under matrices. Now a singular matrix is a matrix whose determinant is equal to zero. That is, it has no inverse. Don't worry, by the time we get to the determinant, you understand better what we are talking about. But for now, I want you to understand that a singular matrix, it's a matrix whose determinant is equal to zero. And for this reason, when a matrix has a determinant to be zero, it automatically means that it has no inverse. I think these are the two major terms we need as far as matrix is concerned. If there's any term we come across in the course of solving problems, I'll be in a position to go back to the explanation and um, tell you what it means. But for reference, there are several types of matrices. We have um, a unit matrix, right? A matrix which determinant equals to one is a unit matrix. We also have a symmetric matrix, a matrix that is equal to its transpose and so on. But for the scope of the UT Hemi, we shall be considering these two matrices. Now let's go to the addition and subtraction. The first question I'm going to solve here is obtained from 2018 question 38. But before I also go further, I would like to tell you that perhaps at the end of this uh, topic, I might expose you to the different um, terms that are used in matrices. That is for those who actually need to know this but i just need to be particular about this because we are working on jam syllables and this is what it entails so for this reason permit me to go to the first example which is obtained from 2018 question 38 and this is the example if k equals to 3140 find 5k minus 4i Remember from the last slide, I made you to understand that whenever you see i, it means the identity matrix, right? I means the identity matrix. And remember, we have two by two matrix, which is identity, and that is one, zero, zero, one, right? Also, we have three by three matrix too, which is one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. But because K is a two by two matrix, we are going to settle for this two by two identity matrix. Now, 5k minus 4i will now be 5 multiplied by 3, 4, 1, 0, minus 4 multiplied by 1, 0, 0, 1, which is the identity matrix. Now, this is a scalar multiplication of matrix. Now, in a scalar multiplication of matrix, a matrix is multiplied by a scalar. A scalar means a number. Now, whenever a matrix is multiplied by a number, the number multiplies through every of the elements in the matrix. Now, let's look at this. This is going to give you 5 times 3, 15. 5 times 1, 5. 5 times 4, 20. And 5 times 0, 0. Everything minus 4 times 1, 4. 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 0, 0. And 4 times 1 will give you 4. For this reason, we have something like 15 minus 4. This is a subtraction involving matrix. So each of the elements subtracts the corresponding elements. That is, this is what is occupying the first row, first column. It's going to subtract first row, first column. 
and so on. So this is going to be 15 minus 4. First row, second column is 5. Minus first row, second column is 0. Then this is 20 minus 0. And the other one is 0 minus 4. And at the end of the day, you have 15 minus 4 is 11. 20 minus 0 is 20. 5 minus 0 is 5. 0 minus 4 gives you minus 4. So this is the answer to UTM in 2018 question 38. Now we'll go to the next one. Example 2. That is UTM in 2015 question 20 and UTM in 2013 question 22. This question was repeated. And that is why you have two years here. Right? And that means that some of these questions are more important than others. Because I can't just imagine jump repeating questions as such. We have several questions too that are repeated. If you take a look at 2015, 2014, and 2013, you find repetitions there too. Right? Now let's come back to class. Example two. We have two matrices. P is 5, 3, 2, 1. And Q is 4, 2, 3, 5. And we are asked to find 2P plus Q. This is still the same thing as 2 multiplied by P plus Q. And that gives you the same way we did it in the last um, slide. 2 times 5 will give you 10. 2 times 2 gives you 4. 2 times 3 gives you 6. And 2 times 1 gives you 2 plus 4, 2, 3, 5. Remember, this concept is what is called the scalar multiplication of matrix, right? Now, with this, we can easily get our answer. First row, first column is added to first row, first column. That is 10 plus 4, 14. First row, second column is added to first row, second column, which is 6 plus 2, that's 8. Second row, first column is added to second row, first column, right? And that is 4 plus 3, which is 7. Second row, second column is added to second row, second column. 2 plus 5 gives you 7. So the answer to 2015 question 20 and 2013 question 22 is the matrix 14877. 7. You can go to the past question and pick your answer out in those years. Then we go to the next one, which is a very important question, and I want you to be very attentive here, so that at the end of the day, you can look back and say, yes, we have successfully completed our lessons on matrices, right? Now, looking at this, it's still the same mechanism or the same method. First row, first column will be added to first row, first column. So this is going to give you 1 plus x, right? First row, second column, first row, second column. 0 plus 1 gives you 1. Second row, first column, second row, first column. Minus 1, minus 1 gives you minus 2. Second row, second column, second row, second column. Minus 1 plus 0 gives you minus 1. Third row, first column, third row, first column. 2 plus y gives you 2 plus y. And third row, second column, added to third row, second column, which is 2 minus 2, which is 0. Everything will be equals to minus 2. One, minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, and 0. Remember, this matrix has three rows and two columns. So the dimension of this matrix is 3 by 2 matrix. Is that clear? So the dimension is 3 by 2, and the matrix is a 3 by 2 matrix. That's 2018 question 23. So the next thing is for us to compare the two matrices because this is a question on equality of matrices. That is, first row, first column will be compared with first row, first column. So that 1 plus x will be equal to minus 2. So that x will give you minus 2 plus 1 crosses here becomes minus 1. And the value of x will give you minus 3. Right? Then also, 2 plus y will be compared with the 2 plus y because this is the third row and first column. will be compared with the third row and first column. Now, the assumption 
or the deal is the fact that since they are equal, they are corresponding or their corresponding rows and columns are the same. And that is why we are comparing third row, first column to third row, first column because of the fact that they are equal. Therefore, 2 plus y I give you minus 3 and y will give you minus 3 minus 2. So the value of y will give you minus 5. Now, that is the value. With this, we have come to the end of this um, section or lesson. See you in the next lesson and bye.